Hello everybody, welcome back to the AI video. This one, we're in chat LLM teams and today I'm gonna to show you how to humanize your content. What does that mean? It's simple. We're gonna take AI written content and make it sound like a human wrote it or better yet, you wrote it. It's very, very easy to do. Chat LLM teams has you covered. I am gonna show you how to use their humanize functionality. It's pretty cool and it's very easy to use. I'm gonna show you a few tips and tricks and then we're even gonna take a look at an AI detection software piece and we're gonna punch it in there and it's gonna come back as human written. You're gonna love it, it's easy to do, let's go. All right, first step, head over to chat LLM Teams. I put a link in the description below, click on it and off you go. Once you're logged in, you'll see a screen that looks just like this here. Now let's get cooking here. Now the first thing I wanna show you real quickly here is in a different tab here. Again, this is all chat LLM Teams. You'll see here that I asked it to write a 1000 word article on the latest research and strength training this can be anything you want including if you are a researcher an educator or maybe you're a blog writer anything you can put in there it will cook it for you and here we go we got our results back here and of course it is ai written i'm going to show you how to humanize it but before i show you that look up at the top here you'll see a couple things one i used grok 4 now i have access to all of the best large language models they're all state-of-the-art gemini 2.5 pro is amazing at writing articles Articles, Claude Sonnet sounds very human. It's got all the O3 models, the OpenAI models, etc. But here, I use Grok 4, and the reason why I use Grok 4, well, I got you. Look at this. We get web search results. So if I want to do that here, it'll see here. It searched the web. It gave us back results, and it also gave us real-time information from Twitter. So this is right up to the second accurate. Pretty cool stuff. Now, as I go down the list here, you'll see here it wrote this article, fine and dandy. Let's go over here. I put it into the AI detector and check this out. It gave us a 26% chance or 26% of it was detected as, you know, potentially AI written. I get it. We humanized it down to 22%. I humanized it again down to 19.8%. And through the technique I'm going to show you, you can literally get it to 0% completely human written, not AI written. Now, let me show you how to do it. All right, guys, so step one, go ahead and select what large language model you want to use. In this case, I'm using Grok 4, but again, re keep in mind, you got access to all the big ones. So there we go. We're going to go with Grok 4 because I love the real-time Twitter access. It's a real bonus. Here we go. Write your prompt. Now, I'm just going to copy and paste in a prompt here to save some time here. Write a 1,000-word overview or what are the latest research topics in artificial intelligence that are popular in the community in real time. And if it's not in perfect English, don't worry about it. It'll know what you're trying to say which ones are close to a real next breakthrough in ai this can be anything again of course let's go ahead and click the button here once you do that it's going to start thinking and it's going to write this very very quickly it's going to take about like 30 seconds or at most i'm going to come back when it's done show you what we got we're going to humanize it and make it sound ai to human written all right welcome back so it's gone ahead and done up an article here so let's see what we got here so i'm going to go ahead and take some of this article here let's take the first two paragraphs just make it nice and simple here i'm just going to copy them and then i'm going to go to zero gpt now there are many ai detectors out there in terms of detecting if it was ai written zero gpt is the one i use because it's free to use so hey there are paid ones out there and they may even be a little bit better but I just want to show you the technique here. I'm going to copy and paste it in word for word, and then I'm going to go ahead and click on detect text. Now, I've also put a link to zero GPT in the text as well. And look at this here. Here's what it gave us back. It's 27.17. That's pretty accurate, or at least that's pretty precise. It's AI or GPT type written. So here we go. It is as of August 25th, the field of, okay. So the first paragraph, except for the last sentence, has a fair bit of AI that it's highlighted. Now it's time to humanize. Watch this. We're going to go ahead. We're going to go back into chat LLM teams. And I'm going to look here. This is the first part here that is par uh, is uh, that needs to be rewritten. So I'm just going to copy and paste that in here. So I'm going to copy it. I'm going to go back to chat LLM teams. Now, the easiest way to do this, in my opinion, is to create a new chat. But what we're looking for down here is the humanize button. I'm going to go to more and then I'm going to go to humanize. And when you do that, you get options to go ahead and humanize your responses or make them less AI sounding and more human written sounding. So I'm going to leave it 
it on automatic, but if you really are trying to get past an AI detector, or if you're looking for a specific type of tone, professional, funny, clever, caring, etc., you can just go ahead and click that button, or alternatively, you can just type in whatever you're looking for. You want to sound like a Ernest Hemingway? Go ahead and add that. So I'm just going to go with automatic because it's easier. I'm going to click on apply, and you'll see that this little blue human little thing with a plus over its eye, this cool icon, is now lit up. Now all you got to do is, for example, write this sentence. I'm going to type it in real quickly. Write this sent paragraph, actually. It's not a sentence. To sound more human written. I like to ask it to do this. Write with, ooh, let's see if I can put it, write with high perplexity and high burstiness. Now, copy and paste in that paragraph. This humanizing or this uh, AI humanizer is now going to apply to just the text or the copy that we pasted in here. So I've gone ahead and pasted that in. I'll hit the go button here. It'll take a few seconds. It's going to humanize that one paragraph that here's the paragraph it identified as being AI written. It's humanizing it. I'm going to come back when it's done. I'm going to add that back in. And you'll see that we have a very, very human sounding piece of text. All right, so we've got some new paragraph. We've got some new text here. So it started off as of August 2025, the field of artificial intelligence, etc. And it rewrote it to right now in August 2025, AI keeps pushing forward at a wild pace. Okay, that already sounds a little bit better here. So what do we do? We can go ahead and double check our work. I'm just going to go ahead and copy this here because I want to go ahead and show you in the AI detector. So here's the one we ran before. Let's run it again. So I'm going to copy and paste in that first paragraph right here from the chat LLM teams. And then I'm just gonna copy in the rest, which is exactly the same, just to prove the point here. So here we go. I'm gonna just copy and paste that in here. It even got the formatting correct. So what do we got? I'm gonna click on detect text. Now I'm gonna tell you this is gonna go down from 27 or whatever this was, what was that? 20, let's just take a look here, 27.17. It's gonna go down a little bit. I can pretty much guarantee that. So, oh geez, it's 0%. AI GPT. Okay, guys, there we go. We have a gigantic win here. This is 0%. According to 0GPT, it is 0% AI written. Holy smokes, guys. That's how you do it. Chat LLM Teams is the business. It does it better than any of them, guys. Click on the link in the description below. Thanks for watching.